This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. What's up, everybody? Marco here with another ChatGPT4 prompt. Uh, I previously shared with you, uh, for example, how to write a 1,500-word long-form article prompt, uh, how to engineer the prompt and how to get the article, how to make it different, how to, how to separate yourself from other writers. And, and you would do that by, and let me, I'll put it up here, uh, the literary devices that you use. I mean, you can really add to your content. You can really have ChatGPT work for you and then be work hard for you on adding all of these different things. But it, it also depends on your niche. If you're technical, I mean, you can't have like too much repetition or too much hyperbole. However, if you're writing a story, uh, you're writing a short story, you need to be creative, then you can tell ChatGPT to use these liter literary devices and help you out. I also gave you a way, and let me look for it. Let me look here. I gave you a prompt uh, so that you could classify your content, whether it's commercial, transactional, or, or informational. So you do your keyword research, and maybe in a, in a future prompt, we'll do uh, keyword research using ChatGPT. For now, you do your keyword research, you come in, you, you put your list in here, and this gives you a table and classifies your, your content. So I've given you that. I have given you the literary devices, and I have given you the prompt for the long form article. If you need to go see those videos, I'm gonna put the, the playlist on the, in the video description for this video so just go check check that out there's there's other uh, chat gpt videos in that playlist and i mean th th this is all going to come together for you so, so you'll see because you'll have the keyword research you'll have how to how to classify your keywords then you'll have how to how to write your long form content now in in here in this prompt what we're going to do is we're going to set up a content writing schedule so I hope you enjoy this. I think, I think this is going to be pretty cool. Uh, I think this is going to help you out a lot, especially when you're having to think things through and schedule it out. I mean, you, you, you should always have a VA that comes and helps you with this. You should be too busy making money to have the time to be doing all this. You shouldn't have the time. So you should need to go and hire someone so that you can free yourself and go make even more money. And that's what we call the heavy hitter way. We train, we apply, we make money so that we can then go hire someone to train and help us apply and make more money than you just rather let's repeat. And now you, you, you have a system for growth because the more money you make, the more people that you're going to need helping you out. At any rate, let's get away from that and let's go here because this prompt is engineered to give you a table for your content. And so let me read through it. I'm telling it. Now, you know, I don't ask. You know, I, I don't say pretend. You know, I don't say, you know, let, 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 let's, let's pretend. Let, let's make believe. I don't do any of that. You are. I always tell them about you are because I don't want to be in so creative that it starts giving me wrong information because it's going to make mistakes anyway. And so the better that I can set up my prompt in the beginning, the better it's going to be when the output comes and I have to go through it and edit and make sure that I have everything the way that I want. Because you should never just take the AI content and run with it. You should never take what the AI gives you and use it as is. You should always uh, take time to edit it. You should always take time to go through it and to make sure that it's right and to make sure that, that it's what you want. At any rate, here we go. I'm going to tell it, you are a content writing expert. So follow along with me right here on the screen. Come up with a content schedule for my blog, for whatever it is, whatever it is that you write it for my book. If you want a content schedule to help you write your, your chapters, whatever it is. Come up with topics that will help me rank for long tail keywords that are relevant to. And previously we did prompt engineering. We're going to stay with that. Relevant to prompt engineering target I'm, I'm gonna tell it transactional terms only this time because I want people who are ready to buy who are who are at that phase rather than looking for commercial 
rather than looking for for others. This is what I want. But you should, by all means, set up a schedule so that you target other keywords. We again, let me go in here and go back here to semantic relevance. You can divide your keywords commercial, transactional and informational. And you should use all of these in your blog and whatever it is that you're writing. Today, I'm doing transactional and I'm doing that for the for the term prompt engineering. I'm going to tell it, give me blog post titles. Give me. That's what I want. I'm telling I want to tell it directly. This is really important for me. How you do it is up to you. If you decide to follow this way. It gives the code less room to wiggle. That's what it does. Or at least from what I have seen, that's what it does for me. I'm going to tell it to organize each blog post title in a calendar table. Each week should have its own table and each day should have three pieces of content. One, three, you can make it every other day. You can set up the table any way you want. Uh, this here is an example for you. You do what you want with the prompt. Now, each day should have three pieces of content. Make it one, make it five, make it your own, do what you want. And each, uh, each day should have three pieces of content with three unique and separate titles. Give me content titles for all seven calendar days, Sunday through Saturday. Now, when testing this, this it, it, it gave me Monday through Friday. It missed the weekend. So we'll see how it does right now. But this is important for you to remember that it does make mistakes and you need to be wary. You need to check and double check everything that you do. And if you're not the one doing it, then you need to check on whatever VA is working on this to make sure that they're doing things right. I am going to tell it include four weeks of content in the table. Add the following because I, I want a title for the table. So I'm going to call it my 30 day content strategy. Let me eliminate that 30 for I'm going to say prompt engineering above the table. I'm going to tell us I'll put all content in English. I think I've mentioned before and if you watch my other videos, I do things in Spanish. And so I don't want ChatGPT to be open and I'm working in Spanish and it thinks that I want the content in Spanish and it gives it to me in Spanish. You do it in whatever language you want, whatever uh, language ChatGPT supports. I generally do most of my work in English, but I also work in the Spanish market. So that's why I add this prompt. I want it to ask me questions before it starts writing, which is why I add this. And I want to make sure that it understands my instructions, which is, which is why I add this part. And so we just, as you have seen me do before, or if you've seen me do, do this before, I select all, I copy, I come into ChatGPT, I paste it, and away it goes. And let's watch it and see it's asking me questions. Cool. So let's look through it. Yes, I understand. Before I start, could you please clarify what you mean by prompt engineering? Are you referring to a specific type of engineering or is it a term that you use in your business? Additionally, could you provide some examples of the transactional search terms you want to target? This will help me create content. Cool. This is what I want to know. I want to make sure that the code is understanding that ChatGPT is understanding what I'm saying. So. What I want is content for chat GPT for prompt engineering. You come up enter. Now it's going to tell me, so based on your request, here it comes and here it goes and it's giving me, there it is Sunday through Saturday and here come the terms. I'm going to pause it while it, while it starts writing, but you see what it does. All right. I want you guys to look at this because it stopped at week four. So the, rather than telling it to continue, I am going to instruct it. Give me the table for the entire week four. And off it goes. I'll pause it again. Now, if you look at this and if we go back to the fact that this does make mistakes, 
I told it to give me three titles for each say, and it's only given me two. So, just so you guys can see it, I'm going to go back and I am going to say, I want three titles each day. You only give me two. Please start over and give me three titles each day. And let's see what that does. And let's see, we're gonna take a look. I'm gonna stay with you guys until I see that it's giving me three titles. There it goes, that's two each day. And it should give me a third one. There we go. Now it's right, I'll pause it. And again, I wasn't specific enough because I, I just told it, give me, give me three titles for each day. So it figured I, I only wanted a week. And so now I have to tell it. Now, give me three more weeks in tables. Pause. There it is in week three. And you guys see, guys, it, it, it's really quick. This video is only at the 12 minute mark right now and I'm already getting three weeks worth of content, well four weeks, including that first week that it gave me. So, I mean, oh well, excuse me, it's now at, at week four and it stopped. So I am going to tell it, give me week four again. And off it goes. And I can, I can leave it on because this is taking not less than 30 seconds. You guys, can, you guys can watch it work through the titles. Now, you have to go back and make sure that it's not re repetitive. Maybe I should have asked for the titles not to be repetitive. But, of course, it's, it's including the term chat GPT for prompt engineering because it's about chat GPT for prompt engineering. So there it is. In less than 12 and, 12 and a half uh, minutes, I had everything done. So then, yeah, I, I can already hear questions. Okay, so Marco, what do I do with this? Well, what you do with each one of these is, well, download your tables, of course. On the left, export, right? But right here, you could go back to, let, let, let me copy this one. Let me copy it and go back to the chat, excuse me, to the prompt for the 1500 word long form article and I would paste my topic in here and I would paste my topic in here and instead of calling it uh, the title tag must and contain the following and let me see if there's anything else that I need to change so no I'm going to go back And I'm going to paste that in there and I'm going to hit enter and let's go back to the bottom off it goes yes I understand what you want it was it's going to create and it's going to give me all of this I will also provide and please let me know if, if I if you have any questions before I start writing so there you go I think it understood and I'm just gonna tell it start writing So it gives me the title, the meta description, and off it goes. Off it goes. I'm not going to have you watch through this whole long form article. I'm just going to uh, to tell it to stop generating. But of course, you know, this is going to stop. It, it, it might include something that's incorrect. You have to check this. You have to double check it. Make sure you go through it. But now you have the idea because you're going to, not you, your VA, whoever's helping you, can go through each one of these and write it out. And if you're in WordPress, you can schedule it out. Whatever, whatever it is, whether it's, it, this is for Medium, whether it's another blog, whether it's free, your free WordPress, whether you're in free blog or wherever it is that you are, if you want a compl companion video, you can have it write your video script from the content that you're writing. So now everything is there for you to become a content marketing expert or a content writing expert where you can sell your services.
You can actually take this and turn this into a business model right there. All, so, so put these videos together, look at the YouTube playlist and see how using this, and of course, I'll give you the, the, the keyword research prompt uh, either tomorrow or the day after. I'll give you that prompt so, so that you can really hone this and write great content. And then I, I know I already hear the critics. Yeah, but Marco, uh, Google doesn't like AI content. Google wants helpful content. Well, if you ever heard me before, and I'm, I don't want to get on my soapbox, but helpful content is that content which holds the person on the page and gets the person to take whatever action it is that, that, that they're supposed to take. So if you're going from informational to transactional, if they come and read your blog and they go to whatever it is you're selling and they buy from you, whether that content is AI does not matter. What matters is that the transaction took place. What matters is that the goal for that funnel you set up was reached. And if you have Google and if you have, you have analytics, search console, Google is seeing everything. And that's what matters. That's what matters at the end on helpful content. Guys, I don't want to make this too long, but please remember, I will give you the, the keyword research prompt in another video and just get at it. Now, all it takes is you, as I like to say, doing a do, but you have to do. Doing means that you take the next step in this, which is take this, these prompts, organize them and go start producing content for whatever it is that you want because now the whole world just opened up to you. You're not a great writer. Well, you don't have to be. You hire people who are great editors and who can add your company's flavor to this, your company's message, your brand message. You don't do it all. Now you become an entrepreneur. Now you become a true business owner who's working on business growth rather than in your business and if you offer this as a service and you and you start off as the person offering the service you can eventually hire someone that's going to do this for you while you grow out your content writing company whatever it is that you want to do lastly if you enjoy if you're enjoying if you're if, if these videos have helped you out then help us out help out the channel how do you do it you know it. Subscribe, ring the bell, comment on the video, like the video, and don't remember, or <laughs> don't remember, don't forget that I'm doing this leading up to our charity event. We're helping out a really good and worthwhile cause. If you guys want to read about it? I'll put the, 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 the link in the video. I'll have the link in there for you. Help out. I'm not telling you how much. I'm not, and in fact, you don't have to donate anything. But if I'm helping you, and if this is helping, if this is making your life easier, help make other people's lives easier. We'll help. We're helping young girls, young ladies, uh, get the tools that they're going to need to be successful and productive adults. Uh, they've been through some horrible experiences, and we're trying to change that. We're trying to give the world better people and you can help out. And all it takes is a small donation, whatever, whatever. We've received anywhere from a dollar to over $5,000 in a single donation. So anywhere between that, whether it's $1, whether it's it's $5,000, whatever your heart is telling you. Well, first of all, your heart has to tell you to give, then your wallet says, hold up, because I can only give this much. Well, that's fine. I'm going to continue thanking you by giving you these videos, by just giving you more and more and more so that you can be successful with, with, with using ChatGPT, so that you can successfully grow your business, so that you can successfully implement search engine optimization and online marketing to your business and help your business grow. So there you go. Until next time, see ya. This is the Heavy Hitter Club channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell.